Crucified with Christ, Galatians 2.20, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Colossians 3, verses 3 through 5. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify, therefore, your members upon, which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Now, this is interesting. When you look at these two scriptural references, they're both emphasizing the fact that the life, which is synonymous with identity, that you and I have, is no longer germane to who we were, but it's consistent with Christ. And the only way it can be consistent with him is twofold. We've got to be dead to ourselves and alive to him by faith. So Paul says, I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, not I, but Christ in me. And the life I now live in my flesh, I live by the faith, not even my faith, but by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Identity issue settled. This is to believers. This is the same church that he would, in the next chapter, say, Oh, foolish Galatians, who have bewitched you that you should not obey the truth. Very interesting. And then you see here in Colossians chapter 3, you're dead. Your life is here with Christ in God. So in other words, the believer's identity is not in the believer of themselves. It is in Christ. It's in Christ. This is how we overcome powers, programs, and principalities that want to make us deviate away from an ordained path, preset boundaries, predetermined course of actions, and get us in dysfunction. This is how you stay in it because you can either say, look, my, my, my life ain't my own. Uh, I, I can't do that. I need to consult with the one who owns me. I need to dialogue and interact with the one who paid the price for me. My life is hidden in him. You, you can't use the background on me because it's covered by the blood of Jesus. So I can boldly come before the throne of grace. I can boldly declare I'm a new creature in Christ. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So this issue of identity is big. 